back to the channel. I am Mr. Made Over. <laughs> you scared me. And I am Mrs. Made Over. And today we got another banger. Um, as you know, we are really <laughs> taking this foodie thing. Seriously. Or now, serious. as usual, my <laughs> wife ran out. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you the short. And she's going to probably take it from there. <laughs> got home from work. Okay, bet. Already forgot my wallet. No problem. No problem. Okay. Just come get your wallet. You know, do your thing. So she come, come home. Get the wallet. Leaves out. Text me. Bet I forgot my debit. <laughs> so, this food must be good. Uh, <laughs> In order to make your mind, first of all, slip and forget your wallet at the beginning of the day. <laughs> so, first of all, driving dirty. <gasps> Don't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I must tell the whole truth Jeez, and nothing but the just, truth. Oh so, help man. me, my father. So, so driving dirty. <laughs> to and from work. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want y'all to know, a lot was put on the line for this food, right? <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to let her finish the story off. Now, you got to make it brief, because I do want to dive into Yeah, because it's, it's still warm. This, so. this whole thing that you have basically <laughs> risked getting tickets for... Um, just a lot, you know. You could have been in the county, you know. You could have had <laughs> points on your record, you know. Teacher <laughs> locked up for that, you know. You just and then I said, "Ma'am, how you forgot your wallet?" Because like, I was thinking about that. Is this your car? I have no identification. Of <laughs> no, no. So, at the end of the day, nevertheless, nevertheless, listen, we oh, are foodies and we're here. And we are serious about this thing. All right, so. <laughs> you can't tell me sacrifice ain't being put. Oh, my gosh. Into this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is really what happened, right? So, <laughs> so I don't really even know. No, okay. I was paying bills last night. So, like, I had to budget. So, at some point, apparently... Now listen, I already gave them the spill. I got to work. Let me tell them, though. But this is okay. this is how I found out I left the wallet, though. So, I got to work. And I was talking... I talked to my grandma. Hey, Gigi. I talked to her often, right? So, I talked to her <laughs> this morning. So, I grabbed my purse and I'm like... Well, I don't call her Gigi. Her grand, she's Graham to me because she's my grandma. I'm like, Graham. My purse is real light. So I look in there, y'all, and I'm like, oh, Graham. She's like, well, I say, like, man, I just rolled dirty. Dirty. She goes, you better go back home and get it. And I'm like, no, Grandma. I was like, I'm not going back <laughs> to get it today. Uh, I said, I said, Graham, I said, you know what? The point ain't even the fact that I left my wallet and I'm riding dirty. The point is, I'm supposed to go to this food truck right after work, <laughs> and I ain't got my debit card. <laughs> so, not that um, my girl LG, I was talking to her after work. And so, I was like, LG, I got to go because I need to go and get the wallet. And so, I had told our youngest, Nicole, because I talked to her on lunch. So, I said, Cole, get mommy's wallet and put it on the freezer. So, she did that. So, when I came home, the plan was to grab the wallet and then run back out. So, I had to make a quick stop on my nap you know my my routine when i come home so i grab the wallet i get there right y'all i'm in the line babe i'm in the line so then i'm like i take my wallet out and i'm looking i'm like oh god where's my debit card mm -hmm. So then I'm fumbling. So then I had to let this man skip me because I was sitting here like, Lord, I cannot go all the way back home. Because if I go home and I come back, they might be sold out. So I'm looking. Now I'm looking for the credit card. I couldn't find the credit card. So I'm standing. I'm just fumbling. And I knew I had cash out. And so I'm like, well, how about I just call baby and be like, hey, cash out me extra because I already had a little bit on there. But then, like, I ended up finding the credit card. So I text him. And I'm like, babe. I left my debit card so i'm like i'm just have to charge this so yes i charge this food sacrifice people 
I charged it on the credit card, y'all. That's so bad. I charged this on the credit card because I left my debit card here somewhere in the house. Because <laughs> I thought it was in my wallet. But needless to say, um, I met these people or i've been following these people and been trying to get to them for a long time but yes. their hours are they're they're all over the city and their hours are like uh, i think like something to five so it's like 12 to 5 or something like that and i don't get off until like four so by the time i get there i'm pretty sure they would have been sold out because apparently this is like amazing food so again they were in my subdivision say belokes and so um I told him last night, I was like, I told him earlier in the week, I was like, baby, they're going to be there. I said, so Friday, we going. So, I mean, so I've been planning this like all week, y'all. I've heard and I left my wallet. I So I was, yes, I'm sorry, mom, dad, my other mom, and all my family, you know, that would have had to bail me out. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, I was riding dirty, but I was very careful uh, when I realized on the way home that I was <laughs> riding dirty. <laughs> What? And then I saw a cop. Jesus. I saw a cop, y'all. And then didn't realize I was riding dirty. I'm saying, I'm like, Lord, I'm glad yeah. I didn't run the stop sign or, you know, like pause, That's pause and turn. Your best prayers right there, Lord. You so, know my heart. Come Lord, on, don't, Lord, please don't. <laughs> don't let him up. So, needless to say, I charged this food and I am praying that it was worth the price and the charge. And the time. And the time. And y'all, it's cold outside. It's not like it's like warm. Like, I ain't got no socks on. Because see, early today, the sun was out. So I got no socks on. I ain't had no gloves. I did have my hat. But it was cold. So I got a little, run- <laughs> got a little runny nose from standing in line. Just that Ohio so, look right here. So it was cold to me. But um, needless to say, we got our sandwich. And I'm ready to dig in. All right. What? Is the item up for bid? So well, it's to, not for bid. It's already been paid. for. Yes, yeah, already so. been paid for. <laughs> well, not really technically paid for, but you know, it's, it's yeah. Trust. So today we are trying the spanking spoon. All right. And I wait, and I had a I had a little like revelation while I was standing because I'm like spanking spoon. Oh, right. I'm like spanking spoon. So I'm standing, oh, and I'm looking at the show. I'm like spanking spoon. All right. So on their truck is a wooden spoon. Uh huh. And you know when you know back in the day, the parents kept that wooden spoon in their purse, and that was literally the spanking spoon. And so that's their logo, the spanking spoon. So their food is supposed to be good. That they say you got spanked. Wow. So we're hoping that uh, is that what the thing is, or you just made that up? No, their their thing is actually they have a hashtag. You got spanked. <laughs> Let's. Be, I'll be the judge of that. So. We have today, it was supposed to be a, a grown man lobster but. grilled cheese, but it is a grown man, ooh, crab, ooh, grown man crab meat grilled cheese. So they were out of the lobster, which if I'm kind of- If you hear kids, that's because we have them. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Hey! Hey, y'all too loud! Go away from the multi-purpose room. All right. Now. But this is um, a grown man crab grilled cheese, and it's supposed to be lobster, but they ran out of the lobster, and they asked me, was it okay? And I still wanted to try it. I'll be the judge of that. Um, so, And then I was really disappointed because I wanted us to try like this, and they had a vegan um, lobster mac, and I wanted to try that. Um so I was kind of disappointed they were they were already out of that. So hopefully, I think the crazy part is maybe if you didn't forget your wallet and you could. I, I know that <laughs> I could have been already out there. That is so fast because I would have been out there by four thirty. That's so petty. Bro. That's so po- that baby but hurts. Truth is the truth. It's the truth, and it does. It hurts. All right. So we have the grown man. Oh, this. Man, look half bad. I ain't look. The grown man. Look half bad. Oh, Mmm. Mmm. Don't look at that bad. Mmm. That look real. Mmm. So we have that, and then I think this is supposed to be like a crema, a crema sauce, dipping sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Now is this? Look. 
smell half bad. That don't smell half bad. You smelled it? Oh my gosh. Thought I was the smeller of this. Right. Okay, all right. You gotta so, win the smell. Got <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> all right, so. Okay. Um, presentation? So, present. Uh, we'll, we'll get all that. Sorry, my bad. So, um. Is this all vegan? Or no, this is, is real. It? No, this oh, is all real. Right. So, okay, so the thing all about right. the thing about Spanking Spoon is they have regular meal dishes, mm -hmm. and then they also have vegan options. Spanking Spoon. Spanking Spoon. So, and I already, 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 already. You have spanked. You spanked me halfway. <laughs> you spanked me halfway because <laughs> I like options. And when I yeah. go to a truck. Mm -hmm. I like the options of vegan right. or regular. Right. No, no, I'm gonna pick regular. He's gonna pick regular, and I'm gonna try the vegan. Cause I'm, but, yeah, but, I appreciate that though. <laughs> so sad. But that was the that was the plan. The plan was to try one of each, so we can kind of give both sides. So hopefully, Spanking Spoon, um, after you see our review, maybe you can kind of like save some of that vegan Mike, uh, Mike Mac for your girl. Straight country. Cause I know Mike, <laughs> your vegan mac and cheese for your girl, lobster mac and cheese. Because I do want to try it, and I do want to. You know um, something. Listen, listen. If this food is good, okay. If it's good, spanking spoon. You spanking listen spoon. to me. Hear me good. If this is good, mm -hmm. I'm not a vegan person at all. You gonna try it? I am a carnivore. Which means I love my he loves, protein. Yeah, he loves protein. All meat, all the time. All meat, all, all the time. The time. All That's the me. Time. That's my speciality. That's all he eats. But if this is good, really, if it gets a five, oh my goodness, I will indulge. No, you will but not. I will indulge in your vegan menu. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. That's right. You heard me say it. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I'm trying to do things. Hey. I'm trying to do things. Oh, my God. Y'all. Don't, don't, don't get too excited now. Okay. okay all right. <laughs> Got excited, y'all. It, it still has to pass the test. Okay. All right. Let's try yeah. it before, because, you know. All right. All right. My wife is going to say grace. Yes, I am. <laughs> so out of order. Forgive us, Jesus. Forgive us, Lord. We already you did already. Spanking. All, right, all right. Picking your stuff up. <laughs> God, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive, and we ask that you bless the hands that prepared it. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Sometimes the Holy Ghost whoop you. Don't you dare put Don't that you in. put that. I put wish you that, would. I dare you to taste it. Chuck right. on that cheese. So let's try it without the sauce of first. Okay. Ooh. Of course. Yes. You don't see that. Look, look, look okay. at that. Look, it has like seasoning and stuff on there. It, it's like somebody took time. It did, yeah. And that and 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 um, I mean, it was yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to drop that convertible box, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. let's just see. Ready? All right, let's try it. You ain't ask, is it good? No, I say you good, not is it good. I say you good. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Dip Try it. the dipping uh -oh. sauce. Ooh. Mm. Are we supposed, supposed to use fork? Mm. Uh-uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'm... Uh -uh. It's a sandwich. You know, we use this knife. So... Sure. We got napkins. Oh. Um, I know when. Oh. Um, Are you going first? I, I, I think you like sitting here, don't you? Are you trying to see? Are you trying to see these women go off? Ladies, listen. What they gonna say? Uh, he. I knew it. <laughs> he ain't consistent. <laughs> I thought he was a gentleman because he did it for the last few ones. The last now, couple. But listen, now he decided to take over the whole show. My mm. point is that I'm still yet a gentleman. It does say made up a foodie. So maybe it's just all he is. It's the Lord's. Mm, fight that battle. All right. So 
the bread and this is garlic bread by the way because i don't think i said that i know this is garlic bread because it says so so it's garlic bread three cheeses and the crab meat the bread is very like it's soft like it's not because i'm like garlic bread I'm like, that's gonna be hard but the bread is very soft cheese i love cheese and the more cheese the happier i am and there was some good cheese on there but what i was so surprised is i was able to taste the crab meat mm. i was very shocked now i could use some more crab meat on there could use a little bit more crab meat I would if I had to pay extra for it, I think I probably would have paid some extra for it. But I like the drizzle that is on there, the seasoning. Um, being that it is a garlic bread, you know, some garlic bread gets a little salty. This was like the perfect amount of garlic and butter. And it didn't leave like how some garlic bread leaves your hand like greasy and you like you've been dipping in some chicken grease and you can like massage in your hand and oil your hands up. That wasn't like this. It was very a very soft. So whatever they use to kind of make it, you know, like the grill and the melt it, they did a good job. Spanking spoon, you did a, a really good job. But then when I dipped it in this sauce that has like a hint, I don't know if it's like a seafood sauce, but it smells like it's some seafood in there with a couple of other little spices, but it's like the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. And I really liked how it tastes. I was very, I was very surprised. Interesting. <clears throat> My turn? Yeah, it's your turn. All right. Mm -mm. Y'all better buckle up. Mm. I've been doing this for a while, too. All right, there you go. Ah! Uh, Spank and spoon! Uh-oh. Miss. No. Oh. First of all, mm -hmm. I'm a grill cheese master. <laughs> He is. First of all, <laughs> when it comes, I, I've been grilling cheese for yeah, a very and it's long a, time. And I'm going to say this. You know what I'm saying? Your grilled cheese is way better than mine. Well, you know. you know. I'm just saying, you know. We I call mean. that struggles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to master what you got to master. Sad. So, spanking spoons. Not only am I a grilled cheese bass, but I am a grilled cheese connoisseur. Uh -oh. Ooh. So, I know the balance of flavors and you know that type of stuff so when i heard grown man grilled cheese put a little hair on your chest I'm, 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 chest i'm thinking to myself <laughs> say what you they chest. better be bringing the heat if they talking about some grown man <laughs> um so my take on the whole thing incredible whoa honestly and I didn't think that you can twist a grilled cheese, but the twist that is in this grilled cheese is magnificent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I tell you the um the cheese with that, well, I don't know what type of cheese. That it's is. three different type of cheeses, okay. but it doesn't list it out. Yeah, and yeah. That, the, the the blend of that type of cheese all together yeah. is a nice, so perfect good. marriage. So good. I don't see that divorce happening no time no. soon. Um, Keep that that is definitely till death do us part. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, for me, I'm with my wife. I could have used just a a, a, a a wee bet. Just a wee bet. Just a, no, no, just a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us like a couple of whole of crabs the, uh, of the lobster, you know. Now that's saying? crab, baby. Oh, well, crab. I could use, you know, just a little more. But the thing is, here's what I liked about it. Here's what I liked about it. Okay. okay. Is that it still wasn't overbearing, though. No. And I think too much of anything can kind of ruin a dish. Mm -hmm. It is called grilled cheese. So your main focal point is the, the grilled, grilled cheese. cheese so i get it and the what was the crab the crab the mm -hmm. crab is just, just an extra additive bonus yeah and but i'm twist. telling you if you want extra money for that crab uh-huh i'll throw it in there yes <laughs> right see but then you know what i just thought too what if they did a lobster and crab stop cussing now lobster and crab i'm the first one in line i'll be sitting out there like like black friday <laughs> 
<laughs> with our tent. Look, and it's cold, and we look. We got new blankets, so we'll be wrapped uh, up man, like. I'm not like wrapping up. I get hot quick. Well, I'm gonna be in my blanket. But now the sauce with the, yes. uh, uh. the dipping sauce takes it to a whole oh. different galaxy. I'm not talking about the phone, but I'm talking ah. about the place. Ah. Now <laughs> I'm on fire. You on fire? But, uh, <laughs> But it takes it to a whole different place. Yeah. And the crazy part about this sauce, this is the funny part about this sauce. What's the funny sauce, part? <laughs> that I can eat this sauce by itself. Yes. I, can I drink I, it out the bowl? I literally, like, it has a soup type Yes. Or like a bisque. Yeah. Yes. And I, like, when I tell you, I can literally, it's, like, if that's I, I want to of- eat my whole sandwich after dipping it, I can grab something out the refrigerator and sop it up. You know, and sop it up, finish it on off. But <laughs> that's just my take on it. Yeah, yeah. So, spanking spoon. Spanking spoon. Guess what you did? You sure enough spanked me with a five. Straight up five. Straight up five. Alright, now for me. Straight up fire. Now for me. Uh oh. And I told you. You look me in my eyes. Listen, I told you that if this food was amazing, immaculate, awesome, brilliant, that I would try one of your vegan. I'll, I'll try a few of them. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. So. If it's good. So, Spank and Spoon, you better give me some vegan dishes already because this <laughs> right here is a five on day. I'm trying to tell you, you have literally spanked us to the <laughs> vegan side. Uh, <laughs> But I'm not going vegan. I'm just saying I'm going to We're just going to try it. I'm going to try it. We still like meat. I'm forever carnival. <laughs> i tell you this now. Spank but spoon. Spank and Spoon. Oh, my we goodness. We really appreciate everything that we you do. guys are putting in. And it's love. Work. Yes. Man, you feel the dedication in your food. Yes, the, you do. The time people are pulling up, you're selling out. You know. Um, and I, then to be able, this week, I saw that they were doing double location. So today they did a double location. Which is? They had a double awesome. header. They had, and I think it ended, and then they had to be at Sable Oaks by 5. Mm. And that goes from 5 to 7. So they had like a literally a long day. And um, baby back there making the, this food Man. was slanging it, and only person in the truck cooking on the spot. Uh, like these were made on the spot. When I got in the video cl- of that, I couldn't really like see because I couldn't get up there because they had the tape. I know you would have, yeah, Spank but you couldn't smoke. like I couldn't see in there. But I did tell them. <laughs> That we want you on the podcast. We have we a podcast, do. and I know that it is a family business. Which is, uh, the Made Over Podcast. Made Over Podcast. Um. But they are a family business, so I did have an opportunity to talk to um, the lady. I forgot your name, sweetheart, but um, I had an opportunity, and she did tell me that it was family ran. And so I told her, I said, you know what? I'm going to let you know about the food review, and we're going to want you on the podcast. All right. Um, so. We got spanked today, y'all, because this is so good. And if there's anything that y'all want to put on the menu new, and y'all need some good, true, honest reviews, you know, we'll we tell you if it's good or bad. Yeah, Columbus, Georgia eats. You Ask have done KFC. it. <laughs> <You're so laughs> that is so bad. But Columbus, Georgia eats. We have to thank you, um, and we have always. to always give you our plug, um, our fellow C Town foodie, because all, C-town foodies. all the C Town foodies, um, we have to stick together and continue to uh, push these small businesses, yeah. um, and these family-owned businesses, especially in this time of COVID. So we definitely want to put you guys out there and say thank you um, for your consistent. Uh, letting us know where we need, who we need to try, yeah. and who we need to review because these reviews are coming to you because we have foodies that are on um, Instagram yeah. that are posting and saying, "Hey, have y'all tried this place?" So we are bringing you the live reviews. They are bringing you the behind the scenes with the yeah. photo and the typed out. So um, made over foodies. Listen. Um, also, um, 
thank y'all for welcoming us to the, the uh, yes. foodie world. Yes. You know, um, y'all, a lot of people have really welcomed us with open yeah. arms, told us to keep doing it, keep pushing forward. Um, and want us to try like different things. And I'm trying to feel like. Hey, trust, we're going to tear this whole thing up. And so, I see us as all partners in this thing. Yes. And we, as much as we grow these independent businesses, mm-hmm. I believe we grow the town, which means we grow the community. Right. And I think that's ultimately what the goal is. Right. So, um, right about this time, this is where we say, keep God first. And the rest will be added. And plus, it's all for, for the, the love, love of, of food. food.